This is another Flora Boy exclusive build series part 3. What's going on guys? This is another Flora Boy exclusive build series part 3. Well, as you can see, I'm starting on the center section and this is the main spar here, the center section of the main spar. And this right here is the actual center of the plane. This is where the doll rods will go in, which will attach to the fuselage. And these are the beginning of the ribs. As you can see here, um, this right here is the front leading edge that actually goes like that. So, yep. It slowly but surely is getting there. So, well, anyway, uh, that's what I'm doing right now. I am slowly building uh, the pieces and following the instructions. Uh, one of the YouTubers asked me could I show the tools that I are using. So the tools are in the instruction manual, but I will show you what I have been using. Uh, of course, I have a razor saw. I've been using clamps. I have two types. So small clamps like this. And then I have these clamps, which basically you squeeze and then they clamp down. Razor blade, box cutter. This right here is great uh, for shaping uh, the, the wood before you sand it down. Uh, I love this thing. Um, I have a planer. This is what you use to uh, shade the wood down if you don't use your box cutter, which I use a lot. Uh, I have a sandbar. Uh, I think this has 120 or 80 grit. I have another fine sand block. And I have a whole bunch of these different sizes, different grits. That's 80. Um, what else do I have here? Of course, you know, I have my 30 minute epoxy. And I have my 5 minute epoxy. I have my medium CA. Uh, I have my wood glue. Thin CA. I have CA remover just in case I put some CA where I don't want it to go. I have a giant clamp. I have a couple of these big, big boys. Uh, I have uh, a. Oh, what did I do with it? Uh, I have a whole slew of pins, T pins, and regular long pins. And these are what I use to actually uh, hold down. Uh, the blueprints to the board and also I use these uh, to hold the wood down uh, to the uh, blueprints uh, Good old painter's tape Have that Love this thing. This is a level So that that way I can make sure that I have a straight vertical 45 degree I have a straight ruler I can move this here. Got paper. Straight ruler here. Perfect. Sandbags. You're definitely going to need some sandbags. Now, I have these. These are actually workout bags. You have a workout vest um, that we use uh, when, I, when my brother works out. But right now, I'm using them just to hold down the wood. But you can make these. You can go to Home Depot, get you a big bag of sandwich gonna cost you five dollars get you a couple of sandwich bags and you can make them different sizes different weight and it's perfect because you're gonna definitely need this to hold down the wood to keep it in place it's kind of like a, a your second or third hand if you want to call that um what else is there like i said before the instruction manual is going to have all the tools that you're definitely going to need um i have a whole bunch of possible uh, popsicle sticks and I use these to mix the epoxy. And here's a little trick. 
little bill of care for you. Move this stuff out the way. Check this out. So I have your know, all trusted models a aviation uh book. You know, we get one of these uh every month if you are an AMA uh subscriber. Now a lot of people are gonna say, Well, what's AMA? If you're not into the hobby. So the AMA is what we use is basically our, it's our insurance. Uh for when you're flying at an AMA sanctioned field, you have to have an AMA card. And every year, the first of the year, we have to uh, to renew our AMA license. Basically, we sanction ourselves to make sure that there's some rules that we go by, so that that way we all use be safe. The AMA also is if our planes, for any other reason, get out of line and may either hurt someone or hurt somebody's property, then we can use our AMA. It's basically insurance that says that we pay this a certain amount of money, so that that way. Um, we can be insured. Also, a lot of people don't realize that your home associate, well, I'm sorry, home such, your home insurance also can help if you get into an accident with your airplane. A lot of people don't know that, so that's another trick. But what I was kind of diverted. So basically, I have an old magazine, and instead of throwing it out, I'm recycling it. What I do is I get my epoxy, put it on a sheet, use my stir stick. Stir it up real good. Apply it to whatever I'm going to apply to. And then once I'm done, instead of, you know, I can take the tip off the, the epoxy stick. And now I just have this epoxy that's glued to the sheet. Well, you just take this sheet. And you can just go shh, tear it off, throw it into the trash. And now you have a fresh new sheet ready for epoxy. So that's a little tip and trick. Um, that I can share with y'all that I've learned, you know, that you don't have to wear waste paper towels or paper or bowls or cups where you, we have all these magazines just laying around. And then after you read them a couple of times, and most of a lot of people just recycle them or throw them away. Well, you can use them as a tool if you're using them to build or repair an airplane. You can always use a magazine to use that. So that's a little tip. So... Those are just some of the tools. Uh, like I said before, uh, each each uh, bill is going to require different tools. And it's going to tell you the, all the tools and stuff that you're going to need. But these are the tools that I've been using to build this giant scale top flight Corsair. So um, hopefully I'll get a little further along. Uh, as you can see, the center section is, 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 is coming along. It's it's. A slow and steady deal, you know. I wanted to make sure that all my ribs are angled right, and that you know I got them good in epoxy, so you know everything has been been leveled, and I make sure that everything is 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 where it's supposed to be at, it's as straight as possible, and glue down as 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 best as I could. So I'm gonna let this this uh, cure, and then I'm gonna go and go to the next step, which is right here, step number fifteen. So I'm going to start applying the other ribs on the other side of this center section, and then I'm going to go from there. So as you can see, we have a long way to go with the ribs, and, you know, once we're done with that, it's the fun part. The laying down the the um, the balsa sheeting, and then laying down the fiberglass and sanding, priming, and then getting the paint scheme and all that other great stuff that's going to come along with the build. So if you want to just hang in there with me and continue looking and seeing what I'm doing, I do appreciate, you know, all my fly buddies looking at these videos and the guys and, and ladies that are looking at the videos and learning as I go along. I hope that you learn something new. You know, learn something new every day. It's a wonderful thing. Um, so I, I learn something new every time I, I work on one of these planes because it's a lot of wood building and a lot of using math and, and angles and measurements. And it's just, it's fun. Uh, I, at first, I thought it was going to be a real a daunting task and it kind of intimidating because you say, oh, man, a kit. Everyone says, oh, that, you know, the arms are the best because, you know, it's ready to go. Well, this kit is... Once I'm done, it's going to be something that I can say that I accomplished because this is my very first kit. Yeah, I could have probably did a little something simple, 
a uh, real simple kit, but I really enjoy the Corsair, and it's something that uh, when the one that I did have, I enjoy flying, and I'm going to enjoy this one even more because I know that I have built this by my by hand. So as always, uh, I'm Flower Boy Kevin. We're the Flyer Boys. We fly right when we go home, and I hope to see you on the flight line when the weather gets a little bit better. So as of right now, I'm still here at the build table, and so I guess I will see you on my next video. If you're interested in getting a kit like this, you can find these at your local hobby stores. Some of the stores here in the Houston area are Randy's Hobby Store and also Samano's Hobby Store. Check out those brick and mortar stores so that that way we can keep our businesses open. Thanks again and I hope that you have a wonderful day and I'll see you on the flight line.